This screen is uh, from the previous demonstration of a 90 degree L-shaped roof. I'm just going to show you here how we can vary that angle if we wish to. So you can set the angle, the L angle, and that's measured between here and here, between 90 and 180 degrees inclusive, and it's not done in defined steps. You can have 112 degrees, 113 degrees, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really care. Alternatively, you can measure it with the L diagonal distance. So if you don't know the angle, you can measure between this corner here and this corner here, and um, it will do all the calculations for you. So I'm just going to show you, if we change this to, say, 135 degrees, um, the diagram's gone because at the moment you've changed uh, the angle setting and it can't calculate it. What we're going to say here is that we know outside length 1 and outside length 2 are correct, but we, can, we don't know what inside length 1 and inside length 2 are, so it's going to calculate what these are based on this L angle. So if you click this button here, it's recalculated that inside length 1 needs to be 16.13 metres to be the correct inside length to make uh, the building uh, the, the, the correct shape, the same here. So we've got 135 degrees, if I do do the small diagram you can see what's happened. So you've got a 135 angle here, you can have anything here, we can change this again if you wish, you can have 153 degrees there, inside length 1, inside length 2, small diagram, bingo. Um, all the other metrics are the same, nothing changes. Um, there's a detailed diagram there if you wish to see all the measurements that are on there and you can print that as well. This is also available on the rectangular roof screen. Thank you for your time.